An Abbotsford couple decided to escape the urban sprawl to bring their family closer together in the Kootenays. Their vision for a homestead required a unique property, and boy, did they find it, turning an old school house into home sweet home. Brian Coxford reports on their five-year labor of love. Imagine if your home was so big, the kids could play hockey in the hallway. And you could play basketball in your oversized rec room, which is a gym and auditorium that doubles as an indoor car park. Or if your backyard was so big, you could invite the entire neighborhood over to play soccer. If that's the case, then you're in the largest and perhaps most unusual home in the Kootenays. The total square footage is almost 60,000. It's um, three separate buildings. The main building, the big red brick one, is three floors at 10000 It's pretty big, but the price tag for the fixer-upper was small. Just $50,000 for the buildings on 19 large lots. A real estate steal for an Abbotsford family who wanted to get out of the bigger city urban sprawl seven years ago and move to the B.C. interior. So Margaret and Garnet Bruce set their sights on the small community of Trail, where they bought an old school. At the beginning, um, there were uh, rumors abounding, stuff like we were a cult, and we, we laughed at it all. But yes, people have been very curious simply because they didn't want to see the school lying derelict. They were happy to see people here doing something with it. Their school also has a real homework environment. In one building, they operate a family business manufacturing furniture with local wood for the commercial market. Everyone's a partner here, three generations of family, and the advantages are obvious. We have uh, about a 30-second walk to work. It's wonderful. If we have to get off work uh, early for something... Take you know, care of the kids if the wife is Take care of the kids. Of the, yeah. it's, we just take off. Central Elementary has a 100-year history. The Bruces, with their purchase, saved it from the wrecking ball and preserved this historic part of Trail's past when its age and shrinking school population made it expendable. It took five years to do the renos, and they were extensive from the furnace room up. The Bruces' two daughters, their husbands and children live in three very large apartments with plenty of room to expand. It's actually wonderful. The thing is, is that we can all put our 10 cents worth in in order to give uh, opinion on what looks good. We can put our, uh, in our own information and intelligence into the design. And it is wonderful having the kids here. There's no question of that. It's, for me, it's just uh, heaven. There are memories for everyone in Trail in their home, a welcome sight when neighbors visit, the handprints of children who attended classes here over the decades. Mm. Got to be one of the coolest homes in the province, yeah. I would bet. Trouble is, a bell goes off every hour. <laughs> That's kind of disturbing. That's right. Everybody yeah. scatters outside for recess. <laughs> That's right. You can never keep everybody yeah. around the dinner table. That's a good idea, though. What's